Welcome to Cutaway TV. This channel is all about skydiving. I myself started my skydiving journey almost 20 years ago and by now I think it would be really nice to share some with the world. This video is all about how to work in the sport because a lot of people might think it's only for very rich people to be able to skydive but even if you don't have the pennies you can also find a job. There's so much behind the scenes and I think a lot of people don't realize that. So that's what this video is all about. Delta Alpha DZ, we have clear drop. So we're here with Billy, he's uh, one of our tandem instructors here at Skydive Algarve and also safety officer. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, how it is to work in the sport. Uh, it's great, I really like the fact that we give someone an experience they can't get in another way. They put their life in your hands and we interact with them, wind them up a bit maybe, but calm them down, keep them safe and they come down having had a one-off experience. So mostly they say that's the best thing I've ever done and that's a great thing to hear. How is it on a busy day to, uh, if you're running around, doing so many jumps, to keep everything safe and still organized? Is that a hard part or how, how would you Sometimes describe it? Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it is very hard to do that because you, there are so many things going through your head. Like I need to get this student ready, um, how long have we got, who else is on the load, have we got more students coming in, they need to start the process at the same time as you getting somebody ready who's at almost at the end of the process, ready to get in the plane. So yeah, there is a lot, there's a lot to think about. The brain is, is ticking over all the time. We have strict um, rules on checking the equipment, the way the equipment is packed, the way the equipment is maintained and everything. I mean, when, when tandem students come here, they just see a few guys larking about, maybe we're, you know, having fun. Um, they don't see what goes into getting this thing ready and running it. In fact, when I was a jumper, probably the first seven or eight years, I didn't understand what it takes to actually run a drop zone. And then I started looking at what was happening behind the scenes. You see there's a lot to it. So they turn up here, they walk in. This is your instructor. Great, put their life in your hands or that instructor's hands. Um, but they don't know where the instructor's trained, who, who he is, who looks after the kit, who looks after the aircraft, who's running the operation they don't necessarily see who that person is it's not obvious to them so there's there's a lot to it there's a lot goes in and it's a lifetime's worth of learning to just even start to understand how that works So another job you can do in uh, skydiving is uh, camera flying, which is one of the funniest jobs I would say. And here we got Manny. Can you just quickly walk through how a tandem video is made? Where do you start? Where do you end? Uh, so I start with meeting the meeting the tandem student. So you know, find out a little bit about them, uh, find out where they've come from, and then you start with a quick interview, a minute or so, and then you break down the videos in, into different segments. So you do walking onto the plane, a couple of videos in the plane, and then open the door, get out of the door, and you follow the tandem. One, three, four. And then you land before the tandem, film the landing, 
and interact with the with the student at the end a little bit and then you come back you edit and the video gets sent by email normally what uh, part of the job you like best everything everything <laughs> uh, interaction you know you're spending the day with people that, that are doing something that means a lot for them and a lot of the time they had to build up a lot of courage and and even people that have been wanting to do it for years and they finally do it so it's uh, vibing off the people is going to be one of the best parts also flying you know like being up in the air landing my canopy and how is it on a really busy day when you have to do a lot how you how do you make sure that everything still is safe and still works like uh, uh, that you don't make mistakes uh, how is that so most important most importantly bring a pack lunch because otherwise you're not gonna eat all day <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then yeah you just you just can't get complacent so the more tired I feel the more I pay attention I always pay attention to the checks but you can't ever be complacent and there's nothing wrong with asking someone for a check if it's a long day and you feel tired it's just having that awareness that you get tired and you're a human and eventually you're going to forget something and and it happens yeah but it's just not being complacent what other type of jobs are there in the sport the drop zone runs by people so there are ground rolls which is everything from fueling DZ control, although DZ controllers often jump as well. Um, office staff, so you're interacting with the people. Um, manifest, that's probably the hardest job on the drop zone. Keeping everyone happy and getting them in the air and at the time they want. We are in the morning call for Delta after five, it's five morning call. Then there are other kinds of instruction like um, AFF, which is teaching. Teaching people, new people, how to skydive. It's a completely different kind of instruction coaching, taking jumpers who can jump, save their lives and helping them develop skills that allow them to jump with other people and become better skydivers. The packers possibly work harder than anyone else, especially on a busy day and I love watching them. The professional packers are incredible. They're neat, they're fast, they're... yes, it's a great thing to watch. It's all very... Um, rewarding things to do. What would you say to anyone that would uh, consider doing skydiving, doesn't have the money, and throughout working in it, might be able to do it anyway? Yes, you can. Don't expect it to be easy. Don't expect it to be quick. You'll have to put in some hard graft. Um, but if you want to get a job on a drop zone, get, get your license turn up here if they give you a job you're going to be packing you're going to be running around driving vehicles doing DZ control but all that's really good because you're learning the basics of how the thing is run and this company is really good at um, taking people from new and helping them progress through the system which which I like I like that you see them and um, and they turn into really good skydivers it's a really good way of becoming a, a, a good instructor Thank you so much. <laughs> It's my pleasure. Excellent. <laughs> so I hope you like this video. One of the best parts that I like about this sport is that even the people that do this every day, after a long day of work, hard work, we would still go on a fun jump. Jump together with your friends, which are your colleagues, on the most beautiful places that you can imagine. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you can, more videos are on the way. Ciao!